Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook OAuth extension and also use the live demo so we can get a taste of what it will look like on the front end. So Facebook OAuth just allows users of our application to log in and sign up with their Facebook accounts. So here on the Marketplace page for Facebook OAuth, on the right side I'm just going to go ahead and click Get Extension. And this essentially purchases it for ourselves. Um, but now it's up to us to actually install it per workspace. So I'll go ahead, I'll click install. And here, Xana is telling us that there's gonna be some uh, schema that's merged into our user database table. So I'll just go ahead and click install. And now uh, we get these installation instructions. So there's some steps we gotta do with Facebook to actually set this up so we can use it with Xano. Um, additionally, there's this blue configure button and we need to get uh, an app ID and app secret from Facebook. So first we can go to Facebook for developers, create a new app, um, add Facebook login to that app, um, set our redirect URI, and also find our app ID and app secret and set them as these environment variables right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Facebook for developers and I already have an account, so I'm just gonna go to My Apps, and then I'll hit Create App, and then I'm gonna select here uh, Build Connected Experiences because it says uh, Connect Consumer Products like Facebook Login. So I'll hit Continue. I'll give this app a name. I'll just call it Demo for now. And once the app is created, we'll see right here we have uh, Facebook Login. So I'll just go ahead and click Set Up here and that'll essentially add it to my Facebook app here. Um, but first, before I do anything with there, I wanna go into settings on the left side and then into basic. And in these settings, I'll be able to find my app ID, which I wanna paste into Xano to configure. So I'll copy this, come back to Xano, I'll hit configure, and that app ID will be my OAuth client ID. So I'll paste that in there. And then I also need my OAuth secret. So if I go back to Facebook here, my app secret's right here, I'll hit show, which you shouldn't show this to anyone, and I'll copy it, and I'll come back to Xano, and I'll paste this into uh, my Facebook OAuth secret, and I'll hit update. And now we'll see that this is green, and it says the extension is configured. So now I'm actually ready to show you this live demo, because in that demo, I'm going to set my redirect URI for the demo. So I'll hit explore live demo, and this landing page gives us a nice description of the extension. We can even get the source code. But here is what I wanna show you. So we'll test with your Xano account. This window opens up and we need to get our Xano base URL. So we can easily get that by going back to Xano. And if we go to our API page, and here in our API page, we'll see there's a new API group called Facebook OAuth that came with this extension. So if I hit explore and go to the right side, I can one click copy the base URL and now I can go back to the demo and simply paste in my base URL and hit update settings. And now we're taken to this page of the demo. So there's one more step for us to take. We have to go back into Facebook for developers and actually paste in this URL as our redirect URI. So I'll go back to Facebook. And now in the Facebook login settings, we have this valid OAuth redirect URIs. So I'll paste that URL there and this URL would actually be specific for your application if you're to actually use it um, in your project. And now I'll just hit save changes. And once that's saved, we're ready to actually test out this demo. So we have three different options here. We have continue with Facebook, which is the most flexible, allows us to both sign up and, and uh, log in with our Facebook accounts. We have sign up, which we can only do one time and that's the first time we sign up for the app. Or we have login. Uh, which we can only do once we've actually signed up uh, to the app. So uh, for this, I'm gonna use continue with Facebook just because it's the most flexible, as I said. So I'll just hit continue with Facebook. And normally what would happen because I've already done this demo is first I'd be redirected to uh, Facebook where I would just hit uh, continue to allow or authorize my Facebook account to be used with this application. Um, and then you'd be redirected back to this page, which was that URL we just put in in Facebook for developers. So that's it for the Facebook OAuth demo. Um, I hope you found this helpful and it gave you some insights of how to use this in your application.